Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can conserve your GPU memory when rendering with iRay and iClone, more specifically if you receive a GPU out of memory notification. To start off, let's take a look at the machine we're dealing with here, as this info will be relevant later. GPU 0 is an NVIDIA GTX 1080 with 8GB of memory, while GPU 1 is an NVIDIA 1080 Ti with 11GB of memory. This is a fairly decent machine at the time of this tutorial. We're going to be taking a look at how we can reduce the amount of VRAM required for our render as we proceed through this tutorial. Although the GPU memory here shows 10.7 gigabytes, it is actually a bit more. Real usage here is 9.1 gigabytes for the iClone high quality render and an additional 6.0 gigabytes for the iRay preview render, which equals a total of 15.1 gigabytes. The GPU out of memory warning here results when iRay is requesting at least 15 gigabytes or more from the graphics card, but it's unable to provide that and will skip importing the project data to VRAM, instead sending it to the CPU. As a preface before we move on, you will see a big white pause sign at the bottom right to indicate that the original recorded video of the render has been paused in order to better explain the technical aspects of the render settings. The first step we can take to reduce the GPU resources being used is to set the real-time render quality of the scene to minimal mode. This will only affect the viewport in iClone and will have no effect on the quality of your iRay render. The reason for doing this is to free up GPU resources that iClone may be eating up in order to provide a high quality render in the viewport. You can adjust this setting in the toolbar at the top, or you can also go into the preferences under the edit menu item, or use the control P hotkey. You can customize the settings here, or just choose a preset under the real time render options section. Once we choose minimal, you'll notice that there are only 6.6 .6 gigabytes being used of GPU resources, and also that the quality of the render in the viewport has decreased significantly. Another way to reduce GPU usage is to use the texture compression option. This will affect your final iRay render, however there will be minimal deterioration in quality depending on the setting you use. At the bottom of the iRay render material tab, you'll find a couple of drop down menus, one for max texture size and the other for texture compression. Again you can set these parameters in the drop down menu here, or also go into the preferences and find the same setting at the bottom in the iRay render global section. Let's set our max texture size to 2K here, which will cause the iRay render preview to automatically refresh, and also our texture compression to high. It's important to note here that the texture compression will support all MDL materials, however the max texture size function will not support speed tree and MDL materials. If we bring up our GPU usage one more time, we can see a further decrease in the dedicated GPU memory usage. Now we're only using about 5 gigabytes. If we take a look at the comparison image between high texture compression and nothing, you can barely notice any difference. Therefore, if you're hurting for more GPU memory, this can be a very efficient option to use. Setting this level to 2K will keep textures untouched unless they exceed the 2K size. However, if we bring the max texture size down to 512 by 512, you'll notice a significant difference in the quality of the final render, particularly on the areas with screws on the large wing scales of the robot dragon creature. We can also set the texture options for individual items in the scene as well. If we select this soldier on the left from the scene manager, we can click the object box, which will then select all of the materials on that particular object. We can set the max texture size to 4K, which again will automatically refresh the render in the preview window. Let's do the same thing to the second soldier, who is positioned on the right. Generally, objects that are close to your camera will need to have a higher resolution, as they will be shown in more detail. However, the MM Machinery Robot Dragon Machine in the back doesn't need that high of a texture resolution. It can be set to something like 2K, and the material degradation in the final render won't be as noticeable. We can do the same thing to Soldier 3 in the background, this time reducing his resolution to 1024 by 1024. Setting max texture size and enabling texture compression can be very useful when you're going to have frequent render updates due to lighting or positioning adjustments and you don't need the preview to refresh with the final quality render each time. Using this can save you tons of time in the long run. You can see here that with the 512 by 512 max texture, there is a noticeable drop in quality, but the GPU usage is also significantly lower, which leads to much shorter render times when you're testing out different lighting scenarios and camera positions. That's about it for this tutorial guys. Thanks for watching and make sure you check out our other iRay for iClone render videos as well as our forums over at forum.reillusion.com. I hope to see you in the next video.